you're still watching ways National Coloring Book Day helps us relieve our childhood play dates and discover new health and wellness benefits now that coloring is no longer just for kids. In fact, outdoor coloring books seem to be the latest wellness and relaxation trend that helps people find happiness between the lines. Do you love coloring books? Yeah, I do. You see, how about you? What do you think about coloring books? Okay, so for me, I find it as a very great way to you know, calm down. I, mean, I don't even have coloring books anymore. I used to have quite a number of them. I used to love journals. I had this journal, one devotional journal one time like that, that, you know, you read the scripture and what it is and then you don't have like that drawing where you have to pick. I don't know how to draw, but I know how to mm. color very well. And I don't, I don't like, it irks me when I put color outside the line. I can fight too. Don't call us. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I like seeing kids with their coloring books mm. and when they've actually colored yeah. the right way, right? But I've actually never really done it. It hasn't really been something that um, kind of like piqued my interest. Yeah. But growing up as a child, I used to love drawing. Mm. I used to love painting. And I was discussing like a few days with my, um, with my friend. And I was like, I, you know what? I think I need to go back to painting. I think my own major challenge and the reason why I stopped drawing was because I didn't have that patience, That's right? True. And also, I also think it also comes from the fact that I know deep down that you don't really have the skills, <laughs> right? Because if I knew the right way to put my strokes, the correct way to shade, the right pencils to yes, use, yeah. maybe I would fall in love with it, mm -hmm. with it more mm -hmm. and probably just keep at it till I'm able to. I have unfinished drawings I, I still have my drawings with me a lot of it so even as at two years ago last year sometimes when i'm bored i just pick my book up and i start drawing but immediately i start drawing an hour in i'm like an hour no, bored <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like okay this is the reason why i, I never finish my drawings <laughs> you know I, now that we're speaking about painting we should actually have a sip, sip and paint a sip session. and paint right yeah we should wow we want to have a sip and paint <laughs> session actually <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have my head for this. <laughs> anyway, Jenny, what did you find for us in the news? Okay, so for me, oh, very laughable. Nigerian Army reportedly increases feeding allowance of personnel from just 1,000 naira to a whooping 1,200. <laughs> and the comment section is. Mm -hmm. is, oh, is very chaotic because people are upset because people are asking uh, what is that supposed to do right um, the major general on behalf of the chief of army staff has said that oh that due to the full subsidy situation and the fact that um, food prices have increased they have decided to graciously Grace, is not, those are my words, right? So don't quote me. I'm just, I'm the messenger. Uh, and then they said that they are graciously increasing the price, um, increasing their allowance to one, two. It's not dinner or something, no. Yeah. You don't think so? Like no. You said it's a whooping. It's a whooping. Whooping. <laughs> whooping. <laughs> I think it's graciously that was hmm. added. <laughs> that was added to it. I, I, I mean, I, well, when people do things like this, a part of you wants to say, I like the gesture, mm, right? But, but is it really in the right direction? I don't know what 200 would do for anybody right now in the current um, economy that we are in. Maybe it would help some people. Definitely, it would definitely help some people. But a large percentage of people, how much, like, what are you going to buy with that? What would 200 help you do? Don't you not can buy anything in the market? Can buy you water now. Can buy you Okay, well, a bottle of water now is yeah. 150 naira. Some places is 200 naira. Can nera. buy you pure water. Okay, well. You can buy you salt. You can buy like maybe few cubes, <laughs> few <laughs> cubes <laughs> of, few cubes of, sure. of Maggi, right? <laughs> May, I don't know if, I think mm. you can also get Ugu with that. But you really cannot get much. No, because even Indomie, even Indomie, one pack Ugu. of Indomie is, is, is luxury. Is is lo is luxury, is, right? Is, high, is it now a high end meal? I don't know. I just think with this with this situation because it feels like oh, everyone is just trying to join the bandwagon. It's like if 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 I don't if I don't say I'm increasing um, allowance right. or salary, I will look like a bad person. Mm -hmm. But then the truth is, if you're not going to do it the right way, then I I don't know. You might as well just just drop it. Two hundred, come off it. <laughs> Come off it. <laughs> Issy, what did you find for us in the news? Okay. Um, 
despite the barriers that the whooping 200 naira was added to the to the 1,000 naira. Quite hilarious. I must do that. So my story is on um, what happened previously to the actress Anila Badma. A TikToker actually defamed her character, or she definitely disregarded Anila Badma in different ways. And Anila Badma was actually saying that the author was very well. Sent her to court for um, defamation of character. So the story that caught my attention is TikToker jailed three years for cyber stalking actress in Yola Badma. Aside from defamation of character, some people have the opinion that what happened to the lady was not right. But before I go, the analysis, I need to actually give you a synopsis of what actually happened in the court. So the federal high court in Lagos Wednesday sent the lady or COVID person in one Kago for three years imprisonment for a side of talking another word actress in the Alabama via the social media platform TikTok. Now, she did plead on the um, guilty to charge. However, she was given a fine to pay 150,000 naira. This young lady, one day, they were actually attacked on by the stalking actress because she was promised 200,000 naira to pay for her house rent. Now, in your last bad most and she said so many mean things about Daniela Badmouth. I mean, Daniela Badmouth has been walking in the house, but have we ever met before? Have we seen before? Do I know you? Do you know me? And she was quite remorseful. And that was the reason why the judge actually um, gave her some sort of slug landing based on the fact that she is required to pay 150,000 naira. Or pay three years in jail. So she opted for the fine of three hundred of the one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Now, while well, some people are still thought that it is wrong, mm -hmm. I will say, you know, sometimes it is not the first people on the toes by the The internet is friendly to anyone. One of the same people who are all for you will be the same people against you. And some of these individuals do not know, or Nigerians generally, do not know where to draw the line when they are interacting on social media or online because they know that they will not be held accountable. I must applaud in a bad month for speaking around and holding this young lady accountable because she was totally innocent of whatever she was accused of. And I think it's a good thing to, um, to inform others to be told from doing things like that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Isi. You know, um, our producer said, shared this story with me. We might be having a conversation about this in depth um, tomorrow, talking about cyberbullying and cyberstalking and, you know, all of that. I really don't understand why people feel they need to go and express, you know, false stories on the internet, knowing that such news will spread like well, wildfire. How much details can you hold for someone that you go and spread that, this kind of story, saying she's a pimp, she's this, she's that, she's, because she promised she was going to give you some amount of money and you didn't get the money and somebody comes to you and tells you a story and then lures you to make a video. I, I, I asked myself, what were you thinking? What do you think was going to happen? So doing that was supposed to do what? Was supposed to make Anila bad must give you the money she was supposed to give you in the first place? No. So, I mean, she's very lucky that she got, um, what's it called, the option of the fine of 150,000 naira instead of three years. They should have allowed us day. Yeah, I mean, she was, she was, yeah, three years. <laughs> I feel like um, a lot of individuals, right, tend to cyberbully celebrities. Mm. For some reason, they think they're not human beings or they don't feel things. 
Um, it was a few days ago, or probably two days or something, when Cardi B was performing on yeah, stage. Yeah, I saw that and video. And someone in the audience, a lady mm. in the audience, poured a drink, a drink on her while she was performing. Cardi B carried the microphone and put on the head. <laughs> now the lady is suing Cardi B. And to me, it's like, what exactly were you expecting? Mm. Why would you pour because she's a drink celebrity. on someone? Because she's, she's a celebrity. She's just supposed to take it. You slap her and she's supposed to turn her face to the other side. I'm all for arresting people. Honestly. <laughs> Arrest. Jennifer is not a woman of peace. I'm not a woman of people. <laughs> She's a woman of bread. <laughs> you need to start arresting people. I think when you start using people as scapegoats, right? Other people will fall in line. True. Uh -uh. I in case I become celebrity one day now, you know? <laughs> You must now defame me because of what? I, it's very Someone unfair, please. actually. Let's, cyberbullying. Yeah. Please, let's say no to cyberbullying. For whatever. If the person... is their money. If they want to give you the money, they'll give you. If they don't want to give you, they will not give you. Rest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, my story. <laughs> Interpol declares Nigerian woman wanted over 750 million naira fraud. <sighs> This is quite a lot of money, and I mean, I, we don't have um, intricate details of how she went about this scam. But then it's been said that a Nigerian businesswoman known by known by the name S. A. Cynthia Daniel has been declared wanted by the international police over an alleged 750 million naira fraud. Uh, so there was a bulletin that has already been published. They have mentioned that she hails from Delta State, and she conspired with accomplices to fraudulently convert the sum in Lagos between January 24th and January 26, 2023. The suspect allegedly obtained the said amount under the pretense of paying the United States of America dollars, but declined and absconded to London. This even goes further to even describe her. I think this was what even made me laugh. Um, she has an oval face, long broad nose, small mouth, thin lips, good teeth, black eyes, dark in complexion, pointed chin, black hair, <laughs> small head, high forehead, four star in habits. Always dresses in English. I don't know who comes up with these things and how they are able to <laughs> write these descriptions sometimes. But I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. <laughs> Please, if you find this woman anyway, what is blow the whistle? No, it's not cut out. It's not cut out yet. She has been declared one thing. And her home address is close 302 Terrace 4, Banana <laughs> Island, Ikoi, Lagos, Nigeria. And she also resides at number one Magnolia Road, Chiswick, London. So if seen, please hand her over to the nearest police station or to the office of the Assistant Inspector General of Police, the Interpol. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> back to our conversation. Before we continue anyway, um, let's go for a break. And when we come back, we'll dive into our topic.